This is tutorial number 51, and it covers how to create a design table within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up a file. Let's click File, click Open, and in the DS2 Group 12 file, click Part Number 5. Click Open. And now we're going to create different configurations of this part with different thicknesses and a different amount of holes. Now, to do this without doing any extruding or cutting, all that we have to do is click Insert, click Design Table, click the Auto Create, click OK, and select all three of these, click OK. And now for the default setting, which is this, it shows how thick it is, how wide it is from each hole, and how many holes are in it. So let's make three other settings and we'll call them one, two, and three. And for the thickness, we'll make it two, three, and four. And we'll keep this the same. We'll make it 12.5 for each one. And we'll make the holes go down. So we'll make four, three, and two. So what should happen in number one is that it'll be twice as thick with four holes. For number two, it'll be three times as thick with three holes. And number three will be four times as thick with only two holes when compared to the default setting. So to create these configurations, all we have to do is click outside the box now. So let's click outside, click OK, and now click the configuration manager and we're able to view our different configurations. So let's click on number one number two, and number three. And you can see how they change. And they were all made from this original part. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use a design table within SOLIDWORKS.